Hey guys, uh, this is Locker Love and Mom coming to you from my garage. What a mess, but we got some stuff to go through from the unit, the $30 unit, and um, I wanted to show you. Um, we've brought it back to the house, what we could today, and let's go through some stuff. So we got some boxes here. This looks like a vintage Halloween decoration. Kind of interesting. It doesn't have a date on it, but it's pretty old. Um, we'll put the witch over here. All right. And we've got wood board puzzle. Brand new. This has an Ames sticker. Does anybody remember Ames, the store? Pretty old, pretty vintage, but brand new play school uh, wood board puzzle. That's a great flea market item. All right, so I need to make an area to stack stuff. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh, we got a little American flag. And I'll put that in a safe spot. Star Wars X-Wing Fighter Flying Model Kit. You can build your own X-Wing Fighter. Um, this is an older toy. Let me see if I can find a date on it. This, this, um, it doesn't have, oh, November 1996, Lucasfilm. So, cool toy. Probably a very good um, online item, actually. Let me put that away. Scent Science. Make your own perfume sachet potpourri. It looks like it's been opened, so this may be a trash item. And if it's old. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. All so. the pieces are not broke, either. Nice. So um, it's brand new. The X-Wing Fighter is brand new. All the pieces are not broke. We have some all good. books. Children's books. A little stuck together. I'm going to hand over some of them to my, my assistant and cameraman, my husband Dan. We got some books. This um, is a junk one, right? Yep. Yeah. Charlie Brown Super Jumbo Activity and Color, color Book. It's only written in a few, you know, just it looks like one the front page and maybe one page in it. And yeah, so that would be flea market. I would probably sell that to a little kid for like 25 cents. So we found some personal stuff. I'm handing over to my trusty assistant. A is for animals. This is a cute book. It's got letters and animals pop up animals inside. I like that. That's very cute. Very good vintage book. Um, well, we're not going to go through the whole stack of books. But, ooh, the wheels on the bus. Um, it looks a book. With parts that move. Oh, this is cool. I actually know who would love this book. So this is not going to be for sale. I know my little niece, my little great niece loves the Wheels on the Bus song. I'm going to give her this book. I think she'll love it. Um, Mother Goose book. We've got some personal in here. Personal. And I don't know. These are little squirter things. Squirter. Water squirters. An alarm clock. Somebody must have paid $3.99 for it at a yard sale or something. But these are the loudest alarm clocks. These are awesome. The best things ever. This is the only kind of alarm clock, clock that I can actually hear. <laughs> so, that's a good flea market item. 
All right, the rest of this box seems to be, whoops, weird, an egg, couple eggs, Easter eggs, trash, please. Trash is right there. I'm just going to move that oh. bag. Move that lid, Ange. Yep, I'm going to move. I got um, a few bags and boxes to show you. Um... I'm going to go through these bags and boxes for you on camera. Oh, this was really, this was really cool. Um, let me get the trash to open here. Yeah, just leave it open and squish it down. Okay. You're going to have so, more, I imagine. Sorry about that, guys. This is, says Microchem XM5000. It looks like a mini chemistry set. And it's like brand new. It's got like copper wire. Oh, so cool. I don't know if it's any good, but definitely something to bring to the flea market. And it's pretty cool. It's like a little set. All right. I'm going to put that in my flea market box. So, um, we're trying to build up our inventory because we set up at the Davisville Flea Market um, in Warner, New Hampshire. It's a great flea market. Lots of vendors, different vendors. You've got antique vendors. You've got, uh, this is a battleship, a little tribal battleship game. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so Davisville Flea Market has uh, antique vendors. It has um, people with, you know, even couponers, people that are couponers and sell their things that they bought with coupons. Um, very cool. Very good size flea market. And I think it's April to no uh april to november this is a cosmetic caddy and it's i don't know if this is even any good so yeah i don't think this is i don't know doesn't seem to be any good can you test that out sir <laughs> yes, Dan the cameraman. Uh, let's see, what do we got in here? We've got some uh, vintage jewelry. Vintage, um. Well, it's missing pieces. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> We've oh, got some know it's not. vintage, looks like 90s jewelry. Looks okay. Um, whatever this is, this is another piece of jewelry. That's cool. Yeah. There's all kinds of animals on it. That might be handmade and older. Um, it's like, uh, wooden beads and animals on some of the beads. You got elephants, uh, zebras, I don't know, pigs, giraffes cheetahs it's very cool uh a bag of dudley's eggs and they don't have anything in them so those would be a flea market item i don't know what that is it's a little blocks probably trash oh a little a little butterfly um ring I sell costume jewelry at the flea market. It's a good, it's usually pretty good. People like that. This looks like a little wallet. Nothing in there. I think they bought it and saved it for a gift or something, but it's definitely vintage. It looks like one of those coupon wallets. All right, what do we got here? Ooh little girl's belt 
That's cute. Uh, more jewelry. A Star Wars Galactic Glycerin Soap with a gift inside. I know this is this is dated 1999. It's old, but somebody might buy it just for whatever the little toy is because it's Star Wars. We have what are these? Magnets, fun magnets. These are definitely 90s. Oh my gosh. There's, um, they're like clips. Brand new. Uh, little old looking cell phone, little pen and paper, um, candy, strawberries, teddy bears, penguins. That's cool a box of miscellaneous stuff oh wax works the creative wax craft that's very hard and not usable oh somebody's glasses definitely gonna put that in the personal pile a bag of juggling balls that's cool those are good flea market. Um, believe it or not, toys sell really well at the flea market. Looks like this has miscellaneous toys and books. Um, a little Cheerio dude. A little Cheerio keychain. With a WBZ lanyard. That's old. <laughs> um, Uno Stacco. I've never seen this game. Let's see. 1994 Mattel. This is old. Um, but really cool, actually. Una's a fun game for everybody. And with a stacking game, that's pretty cool. All right. What did we find? Fanfare. Essence wands. Incense. And they don't smell. So... I'll throw those. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of stickers, uh, brand new markers, um, keychains, keychains, silly putty that's probably super old. More jewelry, handmade jewelry. It looks like that's about it in that box. All right, so I'm just going to take out some of the things that are really no good. Some old plastic little sunglasses actually pretty sharp on the edges so that's it for those boxes I'm gonna put Arthur in there and this down here oh and this is more stuff a Pokemon framed poster probably somebody won at a carnival or something but it's old because my son said those, most of the uh, Pokemon on the poster is like the old versions of them. So, oh no, they did buy it. I, it looks like Walgreens. Um, but really cool Pokemon poster framed. That would probably sell at the flea. And in this box, we have a game, a brand new Yatsa game. Now, keep in mind, I paid $30 for this locker. And this is just a, a fraction of what we found. Um, this can go in the trash. This is an old garment bag. I think it was just used on the top to protect everything. 
We got, oh my gosh, we got dinosaur shaped sponges. They're called kid cleaners. And 1993. So these are vintage. Um, those will sell. A brand new six outlet multi tap. Um, that's a good tool item. Definitely sell at the flea market. I actually am building my inventory. Oh my gosh, you got these sponges in just about every color. We've got it in uh, blue, green, purple, pink, orange. Um, yeah, red. Uh, very old backgammon, travel backgammon. It's a deluxe set. It's like a a case. It's like, this is really cool. This is so cool. It's like a little stylish case you take with you. And everything is in here. That is so cool. Very nice. Oh, now I'm going to lose everything. Pieces. I don't want to lose pieces. All right. So back in the box you go. That's so cool. These little things to shake up the dice. Awesome. I like that. That's a gem. And that has got to be at least 20 to 30 years old. This set. Um, let me see. 1980, guys. That is really vintage. 1980 travel backgammon game. Awesome. I'm really liking this unit so far. Oh, we got some plastic containers. I don't need those, and those are not sellable. What else do we have in here? Scrabble. Oh, this is fun. And this is like an original one, like a really early. Look at the picture of the people on the back playing. <laughs> this is old, guys old but i'm sure it's complete very cool we always check the game to make sure we always before we sell a game at the flea market or a puzzle a puzzles we don't generally sell if they're open if they're unopened we do sell them but if a game is opened we definitely check. always make sure that it has all the pieces mancala african stone game that's, that looks like it's either, oh, it's brand new. It's sealed both sides. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So that box I've gone through. That's your work to use as a workbench. Oh, okay. And yeah, this bag I found in there with a brand new puzzle, Puzz 3D puzzle. It's of the Il Diomo. 802 pieces that and it's sealed totally sealed what did i find in this bag as well some vintage squirt guns they're cheapies but um they probably still work and work well and those are probably sellers at the market as well there's also a bunch of napkins in the bag oh you saw the puzzle on your your yeah, actually, I do have an eBay store. Um, <clears throat> I can put a link in the comments. And I will be selling the higher-end stuff on there and the more rare items. Anybody looking for a teddy bear backpack? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. And he's, like, brand new. He's not dirty. He's very soft. And he actually has, like a lot of space and he unzips he's got a big zipper on the side and he unzips he's got a lot of storage space in there he's really cool i'm gonna put him in this box and i brought in this stuff this says kitchen keepers it's a glass storage bottle set they look like they're painted and let's see they're brand new in here. Brand new. 
Why do people store brand new stuff? I, I never understood it and then not pay for it. I don't know. But this will be a good flea market item. The Kitchen Keepers four-piece glass storage bottle set. Good to put your like olive oils, your flavored olive oils, and your balsamic vinegar in. I like balsamic vinegar. Good idea. So, this bag too also came from the unit, and we're going to go through this. I didn't even look in this bag at all. I haven't looked in anything. Oh, a smiley face fly swatter. Brand new. Very interesting. I don't know how good it would be. And then the flies are probably get trapped in there. Oh, you can take it apart. That's cool. We'll put that in one of the bags. <clears throat> and this has some plush. Plush bunny. Aw. How cute. A little a little hat. That's very cute. Um Hallmark Bunnies by the Bay. Interesting. I don't remember that. 2002. 2002, guys. Let's see. Oh, we have a Beanie Baby. We do. No tag. And it's a white Valentino bear. So cute. Oh, my gosh. It's got the cute little brown nose. He, I love that. Beanie Babies are cute. They definitely aren't as valuable as they were once thought to be, but this is, I think this is a pig, a little stand-up pig with a dress on in a basket, or maybe it's a cow with milk. I don't know, but that's cute. Um, 1986, Wang's International Inc. So, definitely an overseas made item. Oh, no. It looks like her basket is broken. We'll have to fix that for her. Um, maybe we'll fix it. Maybe it will go to donation. Might go to Goodwill. This bag has... I don't even want to know. What is this? Oh! A shower radio with batteries included. A regular old shower radio. They paid a dollar for it. I bet this was a garage sale item. That would sell at the, the flea market. And teddy bear, very dirty, very crushed. That will go. That will go to... To probably Goodwill. Donation. Thank you. And this candy cane will go to donation too. Oh, we have another bear. She had a friend. And she'll go to Goodwill too. Somebody will buy her. A cute little foldable bear. And it looks like... Yeah, I don't want to even show that garbage. All right. So we got the bunny and the beanie baby. What is in this bag? I need it closer for they can see. All right. So what do we got here? Oh, my gosh. Who's peeking out of this bag? It's an elf toy. Oh, my gosh. He's really squished, but that is awesome. Does we'll anybody remember? Yeah, we'll wash him. We'll make him nice again. He was from a TV show back in the 80s. Really popular TV show. He was so funny. All right, we'll put him on eBay. I'm sure he'll sell on eBay. Oh, easy. Now, I don't know what this toy is. It's called Top It, and it's written like Bop It. So I'm wondering if it, if it Nobody does knows. something like that. Shoot me at, shoot me at. Let's yeah, see. let me know if you know. Let me know if you know what this is. 
I don't know. I've never seen one. What else do we have in here? Oh, roller skates. Play school roller skates. The adjustable type. Oh, they're roller blades. Very cool. And you can make them bigger. Bigger feet. Those will probably sell at the flea. They're very gently worn. Little roller blades. Fun. Um, my flea market inventory has just jumped about five levels, guys. Now, I found toothpaste in the unit. And I think it's way outdated. The but, toothbrushes are good. But the toothbrushes are good. I can't find a date on the outside right now. Um, oh wait, what's the expiration date? Yeah, I, 2002, July, 27th, July, 2002. The toothbrushes are good. We'll save the toothbrushes. Brand new. Yep, brand new toothbrushes. Now, what is in here? A Lego container with Legos. They're Duplos, and it's still sealed. This is brand new, guys. Still sealed. Never been opened. That's a good flea market item. And then a very old candy cane in the back. Very old. Uh, what is this? Computer bag? A Targus, an old Targus computer bag. Nothing in it. Kind of beat up. The stitching's kind of undone. There's nothing in it, I don't think. Let me check. Donation, right? Yeah, we'll donate this. It's a little beat up, but somebody would buy it for their, for their computer, probably. It's leather. It's it's just, I don't. We don't sell junk. Yeah, we don't sell junk. We don't sell stuff that's worn and torn if it can't be made nice again. All right, this is a book on cassette. Stop aging now. The ultimate plan for staying young and reversing the aging process. You know what? People still listen to cassettes. So I'm going to put that in the flea market pile. Somebody may like it. If it doesn't sell, then we'll end up donating it. We got a couple random purses in here. Oh. These were kind of beat up too. But a vintage, what is it called? Crestline grab bag. It might be really old. I'm going to look that up. And this one here is just a basic clutch bag. Nothing special. The zipper seems very, very not good. But you know what? Somebody might like that at Goodwill. They can make some money for their program. You can't sell everything. No, you can't sell everything. This is a brand new vintage clutch bag. Let's see. Oh, it's got two compartments. Yeah, this is brand new. Fiara. This has a Montgomery Ward tag on it. You know what? I'm going to try to put this on eBay. It says Montgomery Ward's on the tag. So. Oh my gosh. I told you I like Beanie Babies. Check out what I found. A Beanie Buddy crab. <laughs> That's so cute. The Beanie Buddies collection. 1999. What is his name? Digger. 
Digger the Beanie Baby was originally made in orange and then changed to red. So this has significance because he was an originally an orange crab. And when they came out with the regular Beanie Baby, they made it red. Now he is orange. I like him. Oh, I found another crab. This is, what's his name? Claude. The, this has a tag on it. And his, 1996. Claude is a 1996 Beanie Baby crab. I heard through the grapevine from some people that people do still collect these. This is another Beanie Buddy. And he's a beautiful fish. Let's see what his name is. Coral. Oh, very cool. This is also 2000, 2000. We got more Beanie Babies in here. This one, 2000, Jester the Clownfish. He's cute. Oh, did he lose some of his stripes? He's very cute. All right, we got more clods. We have how many? Now we have three clods. I've never seen this Beanie Baby before. It's a, it's a whale. Poseidon. Is it a whale or a shark? Some kind of shark. Let's see. What is his name? Poseidon. He sports a rather silly grin wearing spots from head to fin. Look around and you'll agree nothing's bigger in the sea. Blue whale. A blue whale. I He's, he's got to be rare because I've never seen this Beanie Baby ever. And of course we have Pinky the Flamingo and his twin brother Pinky as well. And another clod, another clod. All right, oh, we have more in here, but, oh, there's another clod. How many clods did they need? And, oh, little sea lion, cute. What's his name? Slippery, Slippery the sea lion. 1998, so he's really, Kind of old too, but these are like brand new and the tags are not squished or messed with. Oh, the jellyfish. I've seen this one many times. Gucci. Gucci is a 1998 Beanie Baby jellyfish. Oh, I've never seen this one either. Oh, where's this tag? Oh, 2000 as well. It's a squid. What's his name? Wiggly. Wiggly the squid. He's cool. And his tag's way down on one of his little legs. Oh my gosh. The parrot. I've seen this one. I think my daughter has the mini one. Jabber the parrot. 1997. Jabber. Very cool. Oh. And another, what's his name again? Jester the Clownfish. Ooh, that's a rare one. Yeah. I've never seen that one. I've never seen him before Dude, he's either. cool. He's and he's really got like cool. these glittery flecks on his fins. He's really cool. Yeah, that one's cool. All right, so those Beanie Babies are cool. Um, probably you wise, you're doing rare. Well. Yeah. I mean, 30 bucks and we got all this so far this is we haven't even gotten a third of the unit cleaned out um i'm gonna give these to my assistant because those are an online selling item and we've got some purses here that's empty i think 
When you find purses and units, make sure you check all the pockets. Just like you would check all the boxes. Because you never know. This is another purse. And it's called the Mitzi purse. Vintage. Um, I don't even know. It's a nice little purse. But it's got a little bit of cracking on the strap. So I'll donate the that to goodwill and this one too i i know that when i was growing up my grandmother had a winter purse and a summer purse and her summer purses were white and her winter purses were brown or dark brown or black or you know darker colors so i don't think people do that anymore i think they have mainly whatever purses and then switch them out or they keep one for a while. So that's what I do. I use one for a while. Actually, the one I use right now is one that I found in a storage unit. It's a nice leather coach. Um, pretty vintage too. This is another purse. And there's nothing in it. But it's a cute little summer clutch. Summer clutch. Um, I think we'll donate that too. Okay. I think somebody will benefit from that at Goodwill. This is bad. <laughs> this one just stuck. This is just another bag. Um, it looks to be, it's made of like plastic or something. It's not leather. It's like a man-made material, but it's got the like the ostrich leather feel to it. Goodwill. Head racquetball. A racquetball racket. Ooh, it's ceramic. And in great shape. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's old, but it's like in perfect shape. In really good shape. Just the case, the outside of the case needs cleaning. I think that's a good find. I don't even know how much these would go for. People still play racquetball, but um, it's really cool. You gotta look into it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out online. All right. The bottom of this bag has some containers. I'm gonna donate these to Goodwill. They're little plastic like meal containers. And that's the end of that bag. Oh, don't put the thing underneath your kitty. You want to show it. Right there. Oh. You just kicked it. Oh. You just kicked it with your foot. Oh. Um, let's see. What I, what do I have under here? No, that right there. You know that. I know um, we brought some other. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I've got to show you guys this. These are Nickelodeon moon shoes. Moon shoes. Does anybody remember these? They, they've never been opened. And they're made in the USA. And I... Let me see if I can find the date. Because I've seen some of these online. But I don't know what the date is. Um... Yeah, these are cool. Like, this is, this was never open. This just came up off of it because of the way it had been kind of crushed in the unit. Um, it says, don't leave Earth without them. Somebody paid $1.99. It looks like a yard sale sticker. But these are definitely worth more than $1.99 now. So cool. Very cool. That's definitely an online item. And it, I, it shouldn't cost too, too much to ship. They're not super heavy. Put that in there. And, oh, thank you, assistant of mine, Dan. Another box to go through. Okay. Oh. This is a praying bear. He's so cute. 
Angel Prayer Bear. Press my paw to hear a classic prayer. I don't think he's his batteries are good, but he's brand new. He was from originally from Walmart. And when he was originally sold, he was $12.97. Very cute. My Life, Debbie Reynolds. And this is an old book. I usually donate the books to Goodwill or Salvation Army. Oh, uh, we got <laughs> some food in here. This is a hodgepodge of stuff. Some shoes. Dexter Comforts. They're huge. These are like gotta be. Are these even the same? I don't know if they're the same shoe. You want to goodwill them? Whatever. Yeah, let's goodwill them. Perfect. Yeah. Good idea. Um, some old makeup. Old makeup and earrings. And some scrap metal for our friend. An old prevention magazine. And a Jackie O book. That's falling apart. The will would even throw that out. What do we have? We have some bowls. I'm trying to help you empty that trash. Goodwill. Goodwill? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this glass is for, but these are cute. Cute little, like, I don't know, martini glasses? Those would definitely sell. Probably. I think they're just glass. They, I don't matching know. Matching set. Yeah. Some of like, people like matching sets. Yeah, they're cool. So we need to wrap those. So and put them. Ricky had called you, huh? Your friend. Anyway, we got a lot of garbage. We got some spices in here. Those are all dumb. Those are gross. Um, broken something or other. And this old like Halloween bag. We'll donate that. Cute. And some fabric. Is it yarn or silk? Just fabric. Um, Country Club, Kennel, Pet Motel. I don't know where that is, but we'll donate that to Goodwill. More spices. Sterling. Vignified China East. Liverpool, Ohio. That might be worth something, actually. I don't like go out of my way to find China or, you know. Is that metal in there? No, it's glass. We'll donate the coffee cups. So this box is kind of boring. It's got fabric, um, some sun catchers, another bowl. Oh, what's this? This, oh, it's a Mickey, a Disney glass. Mm. 2000 Walt Disney World Celebration. Disney Studios. Yeah, these are nice soup bowls. Yeah. Um, this would probably sell at the flea market. No problem. That's really cool. I'm going to put that over there. Oh. Got markers. More makeup. More fabric. More and more fabric. What is this? A metal. 
That we'll put with a personal. It has a date on it too. Yeah. If it if it's something like that, we definitely don't want to save it. This fabric is nice, but I don't know. Fabric sells. We'll have to make a fabric lot. Yeah. We sell it all one Oh, there's another Mickey glass. This one is from Animal Kingdom. No, we'll keep that one. 2000. Well. It's got Mickey in his little safari suit. That we're going to definitely keep for the flea. We do truly sell stuff at the flea. We make very good money at the flea market. Um, you wouldn't believe half the stuff that sells. But people like the vintage, the rare items. This looks like all the way to the bottom. It's fabric. Oh, fabric bundle. Fabric's good. People like fabric. There's some St. Patty's Day fabric. There's some floral prints, like a nice cotton. Um, zippers, too. Replacement zippers. We'll throw 20 bucks on that. And yeah. Hopefully the whole box. $20 for the whole box or even 15 and somebody no. will buy this whole thing. Zippers. Whole thing. No problem. We sell yarn like that and it sells. There's old zippers. Zephyrs. Zippers. That's really cool. All right. So there's a little update video. I'll be posting more videos um, of more stuff, and I'll keep you posted. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.